Hi everyone, I'm Steve Henson. I'm the editor of the Pueblo Chieftain. Here's some of the things we're working on in the newsroom right now. We've wrapped up work on the special section about the Colorado State Fair. That'll be coming out very shortly. And of course, the fair opens up in well, a little over a week. And so we're excited about that and excited to bring you a lot of news and details about that. It'll help make your uh, trip to the fair a lot more enjoyable. We're working on two special sections in our sports section. We're working on one section that previews football. And of course, that's, that's big in Colorado, leading off with the Broncos and then CSU Pueblo and then our local high schools. And then we'll have a second special edition that will look at all the other sports, the high school sports that we have in our community. And there's a, there are a lot of them, as you might suspect. So we're really excited to be offering that as another special section this year uh, to all of you, our readers. Coming up in tomorrow's paper, we have some interesting stories. It was just a year ago when we had a teacher strike in District 60. Well, what a difference a year makes. Now the employees have gotten a pretty good raise and the relations seem to be pretty decent between the school board and the teachers. And that's great going into a new school year. Um, we have a uh, story about John Hickenlooper, former Colorado governor. He has now made it official. He is not running for president. And, um, and if you looked at the latest poll numbers, he, he really wasn't anyway. And now the question is, is he going to run as a Democrat against incumbent Republican Senator Cory Gardner? He hinted today that he might do that. And that could change here in the hours yet. By the time you see this video, he may have announced for the candidacy. But it looks like he's going to. And that'll enter a crowded field of some pretty good candidates. But he certainly would have to be considered the front runner if that happens. And then we'll also we'll have a preview of all of the Pride events coming up this weekend in Pueblo. That's about it for today. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.